You made some nice statements inside ab about uh, ways that blacks ought to be thinking. How are they getting? How are they getting to hear your message? Actually, at this kind of time, it's really not my personal message or the message that I get. Um, I guess the there are more important or more, I would say, vocal black conservatives that that they get to hear from, and those are like when Alan West said, "We've all experienced being called an Uncle Tom or an Oreo." Or and the last three years, I've been in this movement about five. And when I started, I started with the talking points, you know, following along. About the last three years, I. I've stopped. If you see me, I, I've completely changed the way I talk about these issues. I haven't been called an Oreo. I haven't been called an Uncle Tom. I haven't, you know, and if they do, they try it once and then it'll be the last time they do it. And I think that what scares me most is that I can really get into these communities and when I bring them over, when I bring them to the Republican side, when I bring them to conservatism or libertarianism, that they won't be accepted, that it's not safe for them because they are expected to change everything about themselves. They, The way we dress is unacceptable, the music we listen to is unacceptable, the movies we like are unacceptable. So if you want to be a part of this movement, then you have to change everything about who you are. And to me, that is that is not a safe place to bring people because you can give them liberty and you can give them freedom without taking away their culture and I think too many on the right would rather take away their culture as a price for liberty and I do not agree with that or appreciate it. Well, what do you mean take away their culture? Like, uh, basically the biggest uh, cultural impact in the black community now is hip-hop and if you listen to most conservatives, most people on the right, they say it has zero regime and value. And, and that's where they stick. They don't listen to it, they don't want to research it, they don't want to give it a chance or a shot, but they can say without you know, self-righteous zealotry that it has no redeeming value. And that in of itself, when you tell people that their culture has zero redeeming value, why are they going to listen to you? Why are they going to care about what you have to say when you don't listen to them? And that's why I am scared to death to bring people into this movement. And until I can get more people on this side to kind of understand that, you know, I'm going to keep talking about liberty, I'm going to keep talking about freedom, I'm going to keep talking about entrepreneurship, I'm going to keep talking about money, but I'm not going to do it directing people towards a Republican Party that does not accept them and their culture. But isn't that just one issue? It's a, I mean, is the heart of a person more than just, just hip -hop. issue? Just hip-hop music. What about? I'm saying, it, 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 is hip-hop the issue that you, that you feel is the divisiveness? That it's not the hip-hop, it's the culture. It's, it's, the culture is your identity. So it's not just about you not liking the music, it's you not liking the identity of the people that you're trying to reach out to. That's our very core. You know what I'm saying? That's the core of who we are. And now I've had to fight in this movement to be myself. I'm constantly told I can soften my edges. I can, I can be less passionate. I don't have to be angry black woman all of this over and over again no this is who i am i love who i am and a liberty movement should understand and accept that <laughs> i can give you one example to save you from asking a question before barack obama ran for presidency in 2008 jay-z and nas who are two of the most prolific rappers in the game put out a song called black republican it was not them bashing republicanism, it was them embracing their, um, their assets and the money value and the voice that they had now got. That's what I mean. It's in the culture. Our capitalism is in the culture. Our freedom is in the culture. Our liberty is in the culture. And the liberty freedom capitalists say it has zero redeeming value. So you have two groups of people that believe the exact same thing, but neither one of them is listening to the other. And both of them think self-righteously that they're right. And that's the problem that we have. And so you bridge that you do not get a change with intellect alone. You have to have intellect and culture. Until we bridge that gap, we go nowhere. Is, is there pressure within the, if you want to say a, a monolithic black community, is there pressure not to leave the liberal Democrat side? 
What is it? We're not monolithic. We have Christians that, that follow the church. We have uh, Muslims that follow um, the, um, Farrakhan. We have people of total no religious background that want to be Black Panthers. We are not monolithic. What we're monolithic in is the vote. And I say it again and again and again and again, if you cannot accept a person at their core, they're not going to listen to you. And that's where we are now. How strong is the alternative black conservative movement that you're inviting people to join you in? We are growing in leaps and bounds. I have, I have, since I've started doing it differently, I'm having a lot of younger blacks come up and say, I can't believe you said that. I didn't know you could say that. I didn't know you could say I'm black and I'm proud and still be accepted in this movement. I say it in front of a group of white conservatives or libertarians and get a standing ovation. They are starting to see that it is not only possible, but that it is completely necessary that we make sure we know who we're marketing to. We don't need the choir to sing for us. We're time now that we have to go outside and get other people and that means we have to change our tactics. Uh -huh. But is Breitbart the place to win them over or, or how do you... Uh, yes, who, yes, Breitbart was the one who gave me the voice and what well, not say gave me the voice, but he was the first one who said this is a voice that needs to be heard. It's different from all the other voices. No one is saying what she needs to say. Let's get her everywhere. And as of that, I have never been told what to say. I've never been told how to say it. I've never been told anything. It's just, we see you, we know who you are, we value you as an individual, now go out and do what you do. And that is what we need on a liberal movement. Is there a social organization that people can can participate in and feel like they're a part I of? I kind of had one, but like I said, it's it's a mix. You have people on the right who do not want to try something new, who continually say you have to stick with the intellectual arguments, and they want to listen to the intellectuals who make the intellectual arguments. So I had started a group, um, Change the Game, that actually was doing effective. We were becoming effective, but it came to the leadership up high who says you have to change it you have to do it this way you have to hire this person or that person and I said forget it and walked away because I will keep my integrity before I bow to anyone in this movement. Do you feel that the Republican Party should change some of its tenets uh, for no. instance? Well no I think the Republican Party should live up to its tenets that would be the change they actually need. But some are saying that the Republican Party should uh, uh, lighten up on uh, pro-life no, no, I don't say that, but you cannot go in with just a pro-life message. That can't be the only way you're going in with the only thing you're going in with. It has to be more and it shouldn't be your lead off either. And like I said before, you solve the economics of a lot of these situations, you stop the abortion because if the mother has a husband, she doesn't go to get the abortion. So you, you, can, you can stay pro-life, but understand that there's a different way and a different tactic of getting there.